Okay, so the first thing we need to do is thread up our yarn. So I'm using um, a lamb's wool. This is a two ply lamb's wool, so it's not too thick for your knitting machine. And I'm just going through this little wheel here and it just keeps it secure. So just make sure you hear it click in place and then it's, it's all ready to go. Then if you pop it into this first section here on the metal bar, bring your mask down and then finally you want to put it into that little loop there. And then while you're getting ready to e-wrap and cast on, you can just hold it over at the side. You have two little holders, yarn holders either side and you can just clip the yarn in there while you're getting ready. So to e-wrap, and an e-wrap is a cast on, um, you need to bring your needles all the way forward. So what I've done, I've brought out 40 needles wide and you have a number strip on your machine that helps you to, to not have to count each time. So I know that 20 either side of zero, I've got my 40 needles. So just take hold of your yarn and you're just gonna do a little loop, first of all, and then just tie that onto the first needle. And then the e-wrap, I'm going to go under the second needle, down, under the, the next one and down. So if you think of this um, a little bit like the lowercase e, and you're doing it in that direction and that shape. The trick with this, you don't want to have it too tight around the needle or too loose. And that, that just comes with practice, so don't worry too much on your first go. And then once you reach the last needle, if you bring your carriage over and you have a little door here, so you want to have it open. And then I'm going to place the yarn into feeder one you can see it is just etched out onto the metal so just check that you have on on this dial here this circle you have zero to ten zero being your tightest tension or stitch size and ten is your loosest stitch um, so I'm going to just put this midway and have it at tension 5. You need to just play around with your different yarns to see what, what works for you. So once you've got it onto the right tension or stitch size, you're just going to go across with your carriage and you're, you just need to make sure you clear the last needle. And that's knitted your first row. And then I'm going to help these needles through these stitches. And then back again, so that's our second row knitted. You want to do this where you're helping them through until you have enough knitting there so that you can then hang your claw weights on. between six and ten rows and then you've you've got these claw weights in your pack so you want to use these now to hang on to your knitting so I'm going to put one either side and one in the middle and that just weights it so it doesn't get stuck in the carriage 
once you've done that, you're free to just keep knitting. 